long-time sufferer of osteoarthritis and osteoporosis, Jill used the thermocyclopad to assist in the recovery of her double knee replacement. For years I just had so much pain and I couldn't, you know, tell people because they got fed up with listening to it. They thought, oh, here she goes again, you know, got pain again. So I sort of put up with it. And it wasn't until later in life that I just couldn't anymore. And I had to have sticks and... At one stage I was on crutches, that was three years ago, and I went to a specialist here and he said, look, there's nothing I can do. The only thing to be done is a complete replacement. And I thought, well, other people have replacements, I can do that, you know, that's all right. When I came out of hospital, my leg was so swollen I couldn't even do the exercises. And my daughter, she brought me um, this pad down to my place, you know, the massage pads. And she said, try it. And I said, oh, you know, nothing's going to get rid of this swelling. It was so, really, I couldn't even bend it. So I tried it and I used to do it three times a day, just 15 minutes or 20 minutes. And the swelling went down in the first week, it went right away. And I started getting more movement. So I used it all the time because I couldn't go for walks because the other leg was still crook, you know. So that's why I used the pad and it was brilliant. And the swelling went down and I... The thing was I was scared of getting blood clots because you hear about people dying with thrombosis. And I thought, well, they told me I must keep active and keep the, you know, the circulation going. And I couldn't go for walks, so that's why I used that massage pad, and it worked. And when I went back to the specialist at six weeks, he was really surprised. He said, you've got really good movement, you must be walking a lot. And I said, no, I'm using the massage pad, and it loosens it up, you know, it was good. Well, usually when you go back at six, um, six weeks, they try and get you to have a 90-degree angle if you can. But he was surprised. He said, you've got well over 100 because I could draw my foot right back. So I think I got to about 120, um, which is pretty good. And he was very impressed. So, um, you know, he said, well, that's all right. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Even after recovering from the knee replacement surgery, Jill continued to appreciate the benefits of Niagara therapy. I'm thrilled to bits with it. And I, you know, I always, every day, or in the afternoon, I make my cup of tea and put my feet up and put the pad under. And it just relaxes me and I sometimes doze off. All of my life I've had poor circulation. And I get cramps. If my legs get cold at night, I get really bad cramps. And I notice since I've been using the pad, I don't get cramps in my legs at night anymore. I think it's something, I don't know how it works, but it's something to do with the circulation anyway. So that's one good thing. And I found all sorts of extra little benefits. Like I get chillblains too in the winter. And I don't get them now because I use the pad. I think even if you don't have an operation, it's a good idea to use a massage pad because when you're getting old, you're not exercising, you're not walking, and it's just like going for a walk. Because, you know, I've got scoliosis at the top of my spine, you know, it's a little curve. I mean, it's not too bad, but it gets a little bit achy and uncomfortable. So what I do is I put it behind my back and do maybe 10 minutes. And then I put it under my legs and do that too. But I would just like to spoil myself, you know, <laughs> just lie in the chair and, you know. I've got a hand unit, which is also good because... Um, I'm supposed to have my hip done too. I put that off. That was supposed to be done this month. And I said, look, I've just got over my knees. I'll wait a while. So what I do for my hip, also, 
I can massage it with the hand unit because it's got it's got a flat pad and it's got a spiky one, and they're both really good. But that's good for anything that hand. If you just have a stiff neck, you can do it. So you can do it anywhere. Use it anywhere. It's great. Definitely, definitely, because as I say, I wouldn't go out. My friends used to say, come on, let's go shopping, let's go and buy a dress or something. And I'd always say no, because I couldn't walk far and they all had to wait for me and getting on the bus or, you know, and I couldn't drive for a long time. I'm driving everywhere now. So, and that's only four months and I'm already driving. So, I mean, I'm doing really well. Oh, I was talking to my daughter and I said, I'm going off on a holiday because I can. I can go and drive somewhere and easily you put the pad in the chair, in the car and just take off and take it with you. I think all elderly people should have one, really, because it's not just a question of getting over an operation. It's keeping yourself active you know your circulation going and you know you're not going to get thrombosis you're not going to get chillblains you're not going to get cramps and all the stuff that goes with old age and poor circulation so you know I think everybody should get one and people say oh but it's too dear but it's not oh it might be but you can save up for it or pay it off whatever but it's an investment I think because I know with myself, all those years I had pains in my leg. I was stupid. I didn't know about massage pads or anything. If I had, it would be a different story, I think. But I'm thrilled to bits with it. I won't be without it. You know, and if, if I go anywhere, it'll have to come with me.